gonna head out to Seven Springs today on a quick impromptu run. We're gonna go hang out for a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna also probably head up to the uh, radio tower. Get a nice little view up there and maybe take a video of that. But it's uh, gonna be a pretty mellow day for sure. Just uh, sometimes you just need to get out, you know. Anyone watching this can uh, understand that sentiment. That's kind of where I am today. So, you know, it's almost 2 o'clock already. Uh, I do plan on being out past dark so that I can finally do a real world test of my lights. Uh, not camping, unfortunately, but uh, you know, either way, this should be a fun day. Time to uh, air up or to air down, maybe. view right here from the air down spot. So we are all aired down now and uh, we'll be heading down that road and out towards Seven Springs. right into the wash. Right to a field of boulders. As fun as that sounds, it's not really what I'm looking to get into today. Go up to the little road here. 
leads up to the lookout. Um, back in the day when I was coming out here, this used to be a dirt road. Um, they've since come through and paved it. Uh, so it's a pretty smooth drive, obviously, up there. Um, it does get pretty twisty and turny, and there are parts of it where you're going up and down where it's really only one lane, so. spots up here along the way. As far as I know, not in the actual roads. But there are definitely camping spots. I don't have any idea how long this road is. It's not super long, but you do have to wind up the mountain to that tower you see up there. But uh, yeah, cool place to visit. Um, uh, no, you cannot climb the tower. Uh, I'd like to do that when you can, or when you're invited, when there's someone there. But in this case, it's always been locked. There's literally a keypad type entry over there where you can just slide a card or enter a number. So uh, it's not something they want people going into. But uh, 
come up and visit, enjoy the nice view, and just kind of hang out. I don't want to bore you with any more on-road driving, but the drive is equally beautiful going down. Throughout the day, we got into some other trails, of course. While on these trails, we took a few turns here and there. Ultimately though, the trail that I was following pretty much ended right in a large basin, and it was pretty abrupt. The trail was getting more overgrown and tighter, so I guess there were some signs. We could see the tower that we were just at from here, but really not much else. So after hanging out for a little while, we packed up and moved on. Showing 64 degrees in here. So that is not bad. Yeah, so it's pretty stagnant, so I'm gonna assume there's not a whole lot of water in it.
Alright, so we're kind of at a point here now where she's chilled out, she's watching him. The black one's been watching her. And uh, I think, you know, we're all good. And they're super chill. At this point, it's pretty dark, so I decided to go ahead and test my lights out. These are the lower bumper lights, yellow pods. This is the new roof bar. Wow. That's headlights with my brights on, and that's without the brights. You all right? Okay, no problem, have a good night. Pretty cool. I really like it. You can see every direction, which is awesome, especially when Abby's wandering around. Super cool. That's going to do it for this video, everyone, but I do appreciate you watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day.